Hi, my name's Victoria and I am doctor for the women's first team. So my role is I am doctor for the women's first team and for the women's academy. So I kind of head up the medical department along with the physios and sports scientists, um, liaise with the coaches um, on a kind of week to week basis, um, manage any injuries that we have to and then obviously attend all of the first team home and away games. I have a, a, my day job as a GP with the MOD, so a standard day for me would be obviously doing my day job, but obviously just answering any calls that we have to uh, with regards to the women, um, liaising with the physio on most days just to chat about any new injuries and how girls are progressing, um, try and have a weekly meeting including the coaches and the sports scientists and the physio just to catch up on how all the girls are progressing. And then really, I mean, you're just on your phone 24-7 really, you know, you're just there to answer any calls that crop up and, you know, during Covid time my phone would ring a lot more often than usual but, um, yeah, it really varies day to day, it just depends where we are in the season, what's going on and what our injury profile looks like. And tell us a little bit about how you went into being a doctor, was it something you always wanted to do? Uh, no, actually, I used to want to be a lawyer and then in my fifth year of school, my dad's a doctor, my sister's a doctor and I just decided actually I'm just going to apply to medicine and got in um, and yeah, started, studied at Dundee and I've never looked back, actually it was definitely the job for me and I, I love being a doctor, it's, every day is unique and um, get to chat to lots of different people on a daily basis, um, it's hard going sometimes but overall it's a, it's a great job. Sport's always something I've been really interested in um, since I was a student and uh, spent some time doing some specialist modules in it at university and then I moved abroad to New Zealand and spent a couple of years working in a and &E and started um, doing some rugby work over there. Um, came back to the UK and sort of started my masters and then started working in rugby and then gradually moved over to um, the football side, started in men's football and then I started working for Rangers um, back in 2007. 17 and never looked back. <laughs> and how do you find working in a, a sport environment or a, a football environment? Yeah, I absolutely love it. Like I, it's like the best job ever. Like I feel so lucky to to get to do it, and like I absolutely love working here. And um, you really feel a sense of camaraderie and support as soon as you come through the gates. And everybody just wants to support each other. That's from the youth teams, the academy, the B team, and even the men's first team. There's just a real unified and I really do believe in the one club approach and the club have really just taken that on and ran with it and it, it's just honestly it's great fun I, it doesn't feel like work and sometimes I feel guilty even calling it work because it's just it's great and it's great to see the girls getting to play and doing so well and just working with such a bunch of motivated individuals absolutely love it. I am a, a big fan of, of um, getting more and more women involved in sports, certainly throughout my career thus far, a lot of the people I've worked with have tended to be men um, and gradually we're seeing it more and more. There's women coming into more and more roles, like the sports science role, the physio roles, the doctor's roles, the coaching roles, um, and I just think it's great. I always think it's good to have a diversity. Um, you know, you don't need to have an all-male team, you don't need to have an all-female team. I think everybody can bring a kind of unique thing to the table, but it is really nice just seeing more and more women involved in that and as the, you know the, I've been involved with the girls since 2017 and just to see the change in that time has just been unreal and the amount of women we have in, in the backroom staff is just it's fab it's great fun. Mm -hmm. And you touched on, on a playing side as well you touched on working with the academy too it must be great for them to see the opportunities and, and the excitement that's there too. Yeah and I think so and I think for them to see what the women's first team is now and what they can achieve because before we didn't used to have, you know, we didn't train at the training centre, we didn't have access to the same facilities that we do have now and I think that's so exciting for all the young girls and you see them at the games, they love doing uh, the ball girls and always wanting to chat to the players and I think it must be such a motivating and exciting time for them to actually be coming through the kind of youth academy and see what women's football was, is going to look like and I only hope in the next five or ten years that it continues to grow in the way that it has in the last kind of two to three years because I think it's going to be really exciting in the future.